Hey y'all, welcome to Faith Budgets. On this channel I'll be posting videos about how we use the zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Hey y'all. Okay, finally it's time to do our week, I mean our monthly uh, budget planning for the month of October. Today is October 1st. I'm hoping I'll get this video up today. It'll probably be later on tonight, but um, this is for the October setup and or overview, whatever some people call it setup or overview planning, whatever you want to call it to get your month ready. We are, uh, we get paid weekly, but first we always set up the monthly our monthly goals and plan out the month or set it up to be ready for each paycheck so um, if once you get the get the monthly set up it does seem like the weekly is a little bit easier I just kind of plug in the numbers that the variable numbers that are different each week or the bills that come out different times during the month but for the most part if I get the monthly uh, planning set up then it's a whole lot easier to finish out the rest of the month but um, if you're new welcome thanks for clicking on the video and hanging out with us for a little bit tonight um, my name's Holly my husband and I both work full-time I work from home as a medical coder we have three kids uh, 21 18 and 18 so lots of teen activities teen things going on college and high school coming to an end so um, all those kind of things going on and um, We've got some overtime coming in so that's going to help and uh, probably around the end of the year is usually when I get my pay raise it's usually like end of October but it may not go into effect until like the first weekend first paycheck in November for me and then my husband's usually is in January so we're hoping for good good uh, increases this year and uh, that'll help with our budget and I think that was all I was going to say. Um, I'm 45. My husband is 47. Um, so middle-aged here. We live in Tennessee. Middle middle Tennessee. My son goes to college at UTK in Knoxville. And we go up there and travel a lot to uh, several hours away from us. But we do still go travel and see him and watch the... We have season tickets to the UT games. So just a little bit about me in case you're new. I've had several new subscribers, so thank you. I'm getting close to 1K, so I never thought I'd have 100 subscribers. So <laughs> that just tickled me to see the numbers go up. I was like, wow, I couldn't. But I love chatting with everybody in the comments. So yeah, if you're if you're new, let me know in the comments where you're where you're watching from. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you budgeting? Do you use uh, what kind of uh, budgeting tools do you use? Do you uh, do a Excel program or a digital program, or do you use something like Missy Money has here in the paper form? Uh, this is my budget planner. We'll just go ahead and get started, I guess, um, from Missy Money. This is uh, the A5 size, and it comes with uh, the monthly planning and also the weekly paycheck uh, breakdown and cash planning. I do have a video where I go through this every page and do like a walkthrough and I will link that up here in the top um, in the description up here in the top and it, I think it'll be in the description as well and it's just a, a flip through going over this new <coughs> Missy's new planner she has upgraded it just a little bit since then so some of the pages have changed as far as maybe a bigger calendar and a little bit different uh, as far as with the sinking funds maybe but the concept's still the same and now she has a digital version of this as well so I have the tabs that I got from Amazon they don't come with it so I did get the tabs myself to just kind of help me be able to flip to my favorite you know not my favorite but the mostly like my tracking I do my expense tracking in the back and then at the top for um, each paycheck so we we get paid four times a month unless it's a magic month then we will get paid five times so i had those tabs there i just got those at amazon and then i had those little stickers already in some kind of planning kit that i had so i just stuck those on there to do have my tabs to flip to whatever paycheck it is for the month so we're already finished with september so we're gonna well we there was no five it wasn't a five week 
month so it was just four for September so but I still keep that in there so we are ready for October so I do have these tabs here that I also got from Amazon and I think the stickers did come with them for the months on that so we'll flip over here to um, October I heard something I thought my phone died <laughs> I heard something beep I'll zoom you guys in okay so this is the planner and like I said she has this exactly the, the monthly layout and the, the paycheck breakdown and cash planning on her uh, digital version of this as well and I usually do that first and then I get on I write it on here uh, I like paper I'm a paper girl too but I'm also I don't know like a backup to uh, double check myself with the math and I can zip through there and change things real quick and then I just I put it on here too kind of if I'm just using this and I don't have you know I'm not near my computer I can just jot some things down here as you can tell I've kind of I use my erasable pen so these are erasable I think these are in the description below too um, so you know I change things up so that's what a budget's for you, you're going to tweak it you're going to change it to fit your to fit your budget and your lifestyle and changes and things going on so this is the little calendar here on this side. Um, I did kind of color code it this time for each pay period. Like anything starting from October 4th will go through to October 9th. So any bills will be covered in that first, the number one paycheck. And then number two is in the brown. Number three is in the yellow or gold. And then gray is the number four paycheck. So just kind of helps me to know which set of bills go towards each paycheck we get paid weekly so it's easier to map it out that way but as far as the month goes we just lay it all out everything is listed all the pay all the debts all the bills everything's listed and then you see what you have at the end you know to go for savings and things like that so let's just get started with the the income the way this planner is it's broke out into different categories in a couple different pages and I like the way it is like this because it gives you plenty of room to write multiple categories that was one thing that I was looking for on the other one I tried to create one I did on Canva that may be in some of my older videos uh, faith budgets uh, paycheck planner um, and create more lines but I really like this better because it then over in the net in the paycheck breakdown you get the cash planning in there with it so I just fell in love with it so I I've changed over and done, I do it this way now since August I think that so how long I've been doing it with this one but I love it okay so first we have our income we'll, we'll get paid four times this month it's not a magic month we get um, when we have a magic month I think we get four a year since we're on opposite payrolls we paid every other week my husband and I both did but we're on opposite pay pay periods so that makes us get paid weekly so it's every other week you know one gets paid in the next one so our total for the income for the month of October is estimated to be 8720 and then this is new uh, the new debt I've had to rearrange some stuff because we did pay off the Honda side by side and now we have the loan for my traverse so the minimum payment is 740 but I'm not I'm gonna go ahead and pay uh, I'm going to go ahead and pay 200 a week on it. And so that would total 800 for a four week uh, month. On magic months, I'm going to still do that and pay the $200 extra. So I want to get this thing paid off. So I, that's one way that I'm going to pay extra on it, which that's not a whole lot, $60. But also, I'm going to put anything from our savings challenges, a couple of the savings challenges towards that. And then uh, I'll, I'll be starting a new one in January too, another savings challenge I think I will use for that. So definitely going to be doing $800 a month on that plus the the extra one on the what's the uh, magic month. Oh, lost my words. Okay, so then this will be all the bills here, the things that I that normally will stay in our checking account or that will be paid electronically, maybe auto draft that I have set up with my credit card. I don't keep a balance on my credit card. I was one of those that cut all of them up when Dave Ramsey said, you know, cut them up. Don't use a credit card. 
and I drilled that in my kids' heads because <laughs> when I started using these credit cards a couple years ago, my oldest son that's 21, he said, Mom, you're using a credit card? <laughs> you know, he couldn't believe it, and I explained it to him, and he's he's very good with money and very disciplined, so he understood. You know, he was even thinking about it, too, maybe doing some because they plan to travel a lot, so he was thinking about it, too, getting getting one to earn the points. So it has been very beneficial for us because we do use the points for hotel stays when we go stay in Knoxville for the Tennessee games. We stay, sometimes we'll stay one night, sometimes we'll t stay two. And I've already got to use it twice and I only had to pay $11 one time and maybe $15 the other time for two night stay. So, hey, that's, it was awesome. I loved it. So I use the credit card to, for the point system the rewards and I get for like groceries our Walmart pickup we use it for gas we use it for our utilities um, any kind of supplements that we have subscriptions for I couldn't use it on the mortgage it wouldn't let me do it on that and I, it won't let me use it for debt those have to be set up with an auto draft from your checking account so that's how those are so most everything is auto pay and then I do have a cushion in there, so we'll just go over this. Um, Eight hundred for debt, sixteen fifty is our mortgage, and Bible study is twenty. We do a Bible, a women's Bible study twice a month, so I pay for that. I do that one on Venmo, but it's just a local place here, a little business that they let us rent the room. Um, and the cushion, I do you know one for pay, per paycheck, and this month I'm just going to do ten dollars. Per paycheck instead of 25 I normally do 25 but I wanted to cut back a little because I'm not sure how much overtime I'm gonna get and with this being higher than normal I'm just cutting back a little bit because I want to be able to contribute to my savings challenges and we do have a buffer that's for our buffer our cushion in our checking account <clears throat> auto insurance this month is gonna be 752 and that'll be the last one at that amount starting in November it will be 612 so we kind of had to even it out and get it that and that should be the rest of the, the from the remainder of the time that should be 612 from now on unless you know things change again but where we had just got added to you know changed over to our new insurance and internet is 24 water 60 electric 290 child support 217 apple storage is roughly four it's I think I rounded up a little bit. And then Curology is a facial products, and that's every other month. So it's all the even months, and it's $60. And then uh, life insurance. This is my separate life insurance uh, outside of my work life insurance. I have $27 on that. And then Verizon is $230. Apple Music is 19 And Insta Inc. is it's not 10 I think it's 7 but I rounded up to 10 just to allow for... Uh, seems like sometimes that I think there's an extra one maybe on the Apple storage and I just round it up but I need to see exactly what that one is um, Hulu's 33 and then the other child supports 217 so the total there's 3,653 and that's for all the bills that's our bills category then we have the variable expenses this will be the the envelopes they're all cash and they are in my wallet All these are in my wallet, so for the whole month, it would be these totals, and then in parentheses here, I have this is what would be weekly. Um, so groceries is 1,040, we do 260 a week. Gas is 800, eating out is 240, giving is 180, shopping is 160, meds 140, miscellaneous 160, kids 120. And then hubby 600 all his is together mine are all broke out and then i have over here some of mine too <laughs> then we have so that's 3440 yeah 3000 yeah now we have uh i did i did go ahead and write them all down because i wasn't sure which categories would be funded and this could still change as each paycheck comes in this is where i would do some changing like these are pretty well set but then whenever my paycheck comes in and say we have some overtime, this is where I would do some changing. I would come back in here and, you know, add some things 
uh, up these amounts or add in some here that was missing. So we have Sam's self care, pet care. Self care is going to get 260. Pet will get 80. Gifts will get 20. Car maintenance, nothing right now. Home maintenance, entertainment, nothing. Membership, 60. Insurance premiums, nothing. Car tag, 60. Holidays, nothing. Health medical, nothing. Graduations, nothing. Furniture, nothing. <laughs> Electronics, nothing. All these are nothing. Emergency, Christmas, new car, lease land. Lease land is already fully funded for the year. New car, I, I just purchased a new car. So then we have UT tickets, 140. Property tax, 20. Vacations, nothing. Anniversary, nothing. And other will get nothing. So that's my total, yeah. Total, 640. Um, because I did estimate on the low side because normally my checks are a little bit more and then sometimes the, my husband's checks are a little bit more. So, but I do that for a reason. So I don't want to budget more than what we're, we have expected to come in. You, you lowball it. Always budget for the lowest possible amount that you will have coming in. And then if you do have any extra, that's when you can fill in some of the, um, you know, lower priority items. So that's a total of 640 there. And then savings and, and investments, I don't have anything that I take out uh, in addition to my paycheck. The things that are taken out of my paycheck already directly drafted from my check. I have my Fidelity 401B account and then I also have an emergency savings through Fidelity as well. So I have some money taken out. Each paycheck, that money's taken out. And then also for my husband, he has a 401k and also a pension and where he works so that is already taken out before before we see it so then over here we have our savings challenges these are all from missy money as well and if any any of these products that i have um this uh, budget planner the binder uh the savings challenges my my other a6 binders that i use for my savings for my sinking funds and also the customizable um envelopes and also my wallet i have an a6 zippy wallet all those items are on missy's page missymoney.com in the description below you can click on that and takes takes you right to it and use my code faith budgets 10 to get 10 percent off and she does have uh, ltp products if you click on that that will take you to her items that are less than perfect and they are drastically reduced in price but with the minor minor imperfection maybe just a little scratch on the gold hardware or it would it would not be anything functional that was um, messed up or anything it's just a small imperfection so yeah I went ahead and finished my finished out my collection of binders to all match so I do have all of her binders except for I have all colors. I think I have seven colors, but she has ten. Ten total different colors to to pick from. So, and those those are in wallets and binders. A6, A5. I think the A5 one's the bigger one. She only has black and white in those. But she does have some savings challenges that are marked down as well. So, if you've thought about trying some savings challenges, I did get the um, 100 envelope challenge, and I'm that's the one I'm going to start in January. The new one that I'm going to start. I don't know if I'll keep all of them or if I'll eliminate one of these and do... I don't know. <laughs> I want to do them all. But I, I don't have enough money to do them all. So uh, I'll see when that time comes. Because I'm planning on finishing the 52 week by the end of the year. I'm trying to play catch up. So I'm hoping that we can. <laughs> uh, did I do that wrong? I was just looking at that. 31, 32. Oh yeah, that's right. 130 total. So I need $130 total for the 52 week challenge because I'm on week number 31, 32, 33, and 34. But if I have any extra, I'm going to put it towards that too to help me get caught up with that. Then we have the 12 month challenge. I'm going to put 40 on that. The I do savings challenge 18. That's for my son's upcoming wedding. Well, it's one year from now, September 27th of 2025. So I'm doing that challenge for Missy Money to save up for my son's wedding to help out with that with that and then the one month ahead i'm not i'm didn't put anything there for this month this month is a little tighter um with the insurance a little higher than what i was expecting um 
but if I have any extra money left over from my variable spending out of my wallet at the end of the week, I'll put that over there. So the total there is 187. Okay, so now what I'll do, let me get my calculator. We will see if we have a zero base budget. That means every dollar has an assignment. It's going somewhere. It has a job. So first we have our income. And you can do all this on a piece of paper. When I was showing my sister how to do it, we just got a notebook out. And you know, she just she needed to do that anyway just to kind of familiarize herself with exactly what was coming out of their checking account. You know, just she was sometimes th saying that uh, she didn't know what was what coming out, you know, and why that was coming out, auto drafting out. So, uh, I mean, auto pay out of it. So that helped her a lot too, just to be able to get, sit down with a notebook, write down everything that she has coming out of her checking account, you know, and kind of track her spending a little bit to see what all is going on. And then you, you can categorize it, you know, and put it in a category uh, of what your spending is. So, uh, total income 8720 then we have the next category will be debt will be 800 and then the bills was 3653 and then we have sinking funds No, no. Variable expenses. Okay. Yeah, I thought I skipped one. 3,440. And then we have sinking funds. There we go. 640. Savings and investments was nothing. And then savings challenges was 187. So we're going to subtract all this from the income to make sure that we have zero. Let's see. 8720 minus 800. Minus thirty six fifty three minus thirty four forty minus six forty minus one eighty seven. Okay, perfect. Zero. Cause I'd done some changing in there, so I thought I was cause I took the took that down to twenty. There's a few things I changed because I wanted to make sure that I was uh, had enough for my fifty two week. All right, so that's a zero based budget. That has us ready for October. So now that we have that set up, we'll be ready for the next for the first paycheck in October to come, and we can get ready to uh, do our paycheck breakdown and cash planning for the first week in October, which will be in just a few days. So to, if today's the our next paycheck will be on October the fourth, and we will do that paycheck planning and cash breakdown for that to get our uh, to get our cash out, and then we'll do our cash. Uh, stuffing and some savings challenges so uh, okay I think that's it for this video guys so I hope you guys uh, stuck around and um, hope you enjoyed the video and hang around for the next one will be uh, a debt tracking Thursday yes I forgot about that because I have started doing that again to track our debt payments for that new SUV loan uh, so that'll be the next one yeah I got another one coming up so I may just go ahead and do that real quick here in just a little bit have that ready to post up on Thursday so anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.